Hello, queens. How are y'all today? It's me, Alicia, from Beating in Balance, Jewelry LLC. And I come here to make a quick video to show you how to retighten your stretch waist beads. Do you wear stretch waist beads? And are they stretched out to where they are falling off of you? And you still love your waist beads and feel connected to your waist beads? Um, well, here's a video that shows you how you can retie in and retie your stretch waist beads. So stay tuned and enjoy. Peace, love, and balance. Peace, y'all. Hi, it's me, Alicia. I hope that you can hear me because my music is loud. Let me go turn it down. I'm Alicia, your creator and CEO and founder of Beauty and Balance Jewelry LLC. And I come on here to show you guys something really quick. Um, so I uh, make waist beads, if you already don't know. I make waist beads. I love making waist beads. They're not just jewelry or waist beads to me. They're like spiritual tools um, and beautiful positive energy that I transfer from my healing hands to your beautiful jewelry. So it's just something special to me to be able to make your jewelry. Thank you so much for choosing me, Beating and Balanced, um, and Alicia, <laughs> which I am Beating and Balanced. Listen to my affirmation. <laughs> but thank you for choosing me, um, for choosing me to create your jewelry. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm grateful and I really, you know, take it seriously. And, um, so with the waist beads, there are two types of waist beads. Um, it's a bunch of type of waist beads, you know, but two popular types are um, the traditional string with the like a cotton string waist bead and then you have a stretch cord waist beads. Um, some women do like the stretch cord. Like the stretch cord was the first type of waist bead that I was introduced to um, from when I very first ordered some waist beads. So they definitely... Um, it's something that I'm used to and I like stretch cord um, But I definitely see the benefits of the traditional cotton as well But we're here to talk about the stretch though. The stretch cord has its pros and cons um, Some of the pros for the stretch cord is that you know, it moves with you You know when you're like if you're a busy active person, they kind of go with you. They're comfortable Putting them on that's one of the pros another a pro for the waist a stretch waist bead is that like they're versatile like you can do a lot with it um, with your waist bead like for instance this one right here which is actually the one we're going to be talking about uh -oh. Oh, wow. so like this waist bead is um, the waist bead that we're going to be talking about and this one is an old waist bead I made this last year it's one of my favorite ones it's just kind of stretched out so much that I just kind of, it just started falling off of me and I just kept losing it and dropping it and I just took it off. But I was like, but it's still intact. It's not broke or anything. So like one of the things that I did over the summer, because I think I made this like last winter or something. One of the things I did over the summer is like I wore it as an anklet or a bracelet. Like you see, I had wore it as a little bracelet type joint. So like that's one, you can like do other stuff with it. And I had it more, mostly as an anklet though, than as a bracelet but it was really cute in the summertime on my ankle it looked like i had like a full bunch of ankle and so on so like that's another pro to the stretch like you can do more with it now one of the cons to the stretch cord is pretty much in the name it's the stretch part it will stretch they can stretch the, you know if you manipulate them a lot they will stretch the stretch cord is a really strong stretch cord meaning that it won't break if you don't put a lot of force to it and even some force of wheel won't break, see? Like, and this is old. But they do stretch, though. So, like, you see all this gift that I have left from the stretch. So, it stretched so much that it kept falling off. So, what I want to do in this video, four minutes later, <laughs> is to show you how to readjust your waist beads. How you can readjust your waist beads. Because, um, 
I know a lot of you guys, you know, you pay for your 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 tool, your spiritual tool, your weight loss tool. And if it stretches, it's like, I, I mean, you're connected to it. You still want to be able to use it. So what I want to do is show you guys how you can readjust. Um, a lot of you guys might be scared to readjust to cut because you don't want to mess up the beach or the pattern. So you definitely want to watch when you cut because you don't want to lose too many beads off of this but i'm gonna show you real quick so where's my scissors here they go so the first thing you want to do is figure out where it's stretching at and i think so figured out where it's stretching is at then the second thing you want to do or this actually might be the first thing you want to do is actually you want to measure your waist because if it's an old waist bead or even if it's you know pretty new you want to make sure that your waist is accurate so you want to go ahead and measure your waist like you can use a measuring tape like I am I'm gonna measure my waist real quick and make sure I got a good accurate measurement and I'm at a like a 42 this is where I want my waist beads to sit like if you want them down here you like you want to measure down here if you want them up high you want to measure up high me I like to keep my like right here in the middle which is at about a, see that, we're now gonna read like 39, okay? Let's do that, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and say, I'm, I'm gonna give it like a 39 and a half. So I wanna make sure that this waist bead is 39 and a half inches. I'm gonna go ahead and get a pen and write that down for my memory. <laughs> 39.5, and then I'm gonna take my waist bead and this is, I'm gonna find where it's already stretched out at, which is about right here. <clears throat> and I am going to get ready to cut now. What I would typically say is kind of to have a bowl. I don't really want to use this bowl because it's something in it. So let me grab another bowl. Okay, so I got a bowl. So you want to get a little bowly bowl. So that your beads, if they do fall, or if some, a few beads may come off, which is fine, but they'll fall into the bowl, you know. So you don't want all the beads to come off, so you want to find it. And I am just going to cut. And when I cut, I'm going to keep, I'm, watch how my fingers are. I'm going to cut, but they're still going to be like intact. So I cut, but like I still got two fingers holding them together. So I got there in half, so like nothing came off, thank God. <laughs> so I got one end. I got two ends now. So what I'm going to do to one end is I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot on the end because I don't want I want one end to be secure so I can hold the other end to measure. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie one end with a knot, just a regular knot. Do like two or three depending on. You want it to be big enough, the knot to be big enough so it won't go through the bead hole. So I got me a little knot here. So I got me a knot. It's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna take this end. You know, the end with the knots, I can kind of either keep it in the bowl just in case you're scared that the beads may fall. Um, but then this end is no knot. So this is the end that's loose where the beads could come off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it because I want this bead to be 39.5 inches. So here, I'm going to measure. I'm going to try I'm fitting on it. <laughs> So I want this bead to be 39.5 inches. I'm gonna measure real quick. Or not real quick, take your time. <laughs> and like it's 39.5 inches. So like I think maybe I just need it to. Well, not really. Let me let me do it. Let me make sure it's accurate. So yeah. So like this bead actually is 39.5 inches. So what that is telling me is that I just need it to tighten it up. Because even though it's 39, it's going to have this extra left. And that's pretty much the extra that was that had stretched out anyway. So I hope this is making sense, y'all. <laughs> this is supposed to be a different size, but we can roll with that. So, but the key is to cut cut it and to retie it to fit it to where you need it to fit. So I got it cut. It's 39.5 inches already. So I'm going to go ahead and retie. I'm going to tie one knot on this end. And then I'm going to tie it on like this. I'm ex I just realized I get to tie this waist bead back on, y'all. Like, I've been off for so long. I told you the whole summer 
I had it as an anklet. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and tie. Now what I'm gonna tie is I'm going when I tie I'm going to use a surgeon's knot. So like a surgeon's knot, it's really easy. It's simple as crossing it over like you would like you were tying your shoe. And you got it crossed over, and then you're gonna take this one and you're gonna go under like you tie in your shoe. Go under. Now you got it the little like you tie the shoe. But what you want to do is you want to go under one more time. So you want to go under twice, not one time. Like you tie in your shoe, then you want to pull. And then you want to pull and you just want to tie it again. Just like you tie in your shoe. You're gonna go under twice again. And then you're going to pull one. And so there is my, I'll go ahead and show y'all my goodies. <laughs> so there is my waist beads. I just got one surgeon's knot, but I always recommend you do more than one surgeon's knot. So I just like to do like three or four for my, so I'm going to do one more. I'm a, it's already crossed, so I'm just going to go, I'm going to cross it. I'm going to go under, like I'm tying my shoe. I'm going to go under a second time, and then I'm going to pull. Cross. Then I'm going to go under once, go under twice, and then I'm going to pull. Now, when you order from Beating and Balance, I do send you some tight instructions. And so I have me a good solid knot. I feel confident. Look at all the extra string that I have left over, if you can see. And um, when I feel like the knot is secure enough, I'm going to cut the excess. Now I'm going to cut it close to the knot, but not too close. Like you don't want a whole bunch of string hanging, but you don't want to get too close where you're going to mess the knot up. So bam. And then I have my waist bead tied back on my baby's back. I didn't tell y'all, so this is like glass blue beads and it has turquoise and gold in it. So like this bag is not falling before it was like falling off like I kept losing it that's why I took it off but now it's back up here it is stretched so I have to still kind of watch this time and I could do know that it possibly could stretch again but it's back baby I'm excited so I now I have on one two three four I have on five waist beads so I hope that this helps some of you guys if you have a stretch waist bead and it's stretched too much and you're trying to use it for weight loss or it's stretching so much where you can't um it's falling off of you i hope that this video helped you a little bit um so if so i think we're gonna go ahead and end it um i'm definitely gonna get on here and try to make more videos for you but i definitely wanted to make sure that you guys can readjust your stretch waist beads and can get use out of your beautiful beautiful intentional jewelry. So peace, love, and balance.